Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics. We are going to see diagonal scales in this video. When you compare plane scales and diagonal scales, in plane scale you show one main unit on the right side and its subdivision on the left side. Whereas in diagonal scale you show one more unit, one more division. That means one main scale division, one main unit, its subdivision on the left side and its subdivision again on a vertical scale. That's the advantage. That means the accuracy of a diagonal scale is more or the accuracy to which you can show dimension in a diagonal scale is more. Agreed? We are going to do a typical diagonal scale question where the RF of the scale is 1 by 25. The maximum length to be measured is 4 meters and after drawing the scale you are asked to show a distance of 2.87 meters on it. 2.87 meters on it. You know how to find out the length of the scale. What is the procedure? Length of scale equals length equals length of scale equals R into maximum length equals 1 by 25 into maximum length is 4 meters that is 400 centimeters equals 16 centimeters. Agreed? The length of the scale is 16 centimeters. So what you do is, we draw what you do is, we draw a rectangle we draw a rectangle whose length is 16 centimeters 16 centimeters this height can be any height, this width can be any width in plane scale we have seen that the width of 1 centimeter is reasonably good in diagonal scales, the width can be about 5 cm, 3 cm to 5 cm, it can be any distance, but I prefer 3 to 5 cm, if the length is good, if the length is say 15, 16, 20 etc, 5 cm is good enough, if the length is less say 5 cm, preferably take a width of 4 or 3 or something below 5, okay, to make it a good shape, make it a good shape, okay. Now, this length represents 4 meters, isn't it? The maximum length is 4 meters and it is represented by 16 centimeters. That means this length represents 4 meters. What you have to do? You have to divide this length into 4 equal parts. We divide this length into 4 equal parts so that each division represents 1 meter. I divide this into 4 equal parts. I divide this into 4 equal parts. And write 0, 1, 2, 3. Agreed? Now, the unit here is meters, you know. Meters. Meter. The RF is drawn at the, written at the center. RF is equal to 1 by 25. All in the same line. Now, the leftmost division of 1 meter is divided into 10 equal parts. Divide, make the divisions on the top also. <clears throat> Agreed? Now, now, connect these lines. Connect the zero. After dividing this, you can write if you want. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And write the unit here as decimeters. 1 meter when divided into 10 equal parts, each division will make 1 decimeter. Now, connect the zeroth division to the first division on the top by a straight line. First to the second. Second to the third. Third to the fourth. I hope you understand what I am saying. Fourth to the fifth. Fifth to the sixth. Sixth to the seventh. Seventh to the eighth. Eighth to the ninth. 9th to the 10th. Okay, you are drawing line lines. Now, wait, divide this height also into 10 equal parts.
and write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This division is, this unit is decimeter, this unit is centimeter. The next subdivision of decimeter is centimeter. 10 centimeter constitute 1 decimeter unit. Okay. Now, draw horizontal lines through these points. Draw horizontal lines through these points. These lines can be extended. This line can be extended throughout if you want. But I prefer it to be extended only in this area. Okay. Now, I will explain what is the meaning or what is the use of drawing these inclined lines. Listen carefully. We have divided 1 meter into 10 equal parts so that each division represents 1 decimeter. Agreed? 1 meter divided into 10 equal parts so that each division represents 1 decimeter. So how much is this? 1 decimeter. How much is this? 1 decimeter. Each are 1 decimeter. And how much is this? All are 1 decimeter. Agreed? Okay. Now, there is a division called 0 here. There is a point called 0. There is a vertical line through 0 and an inclined line through 0. The inclined line through 0 reach reach at 1 decimeter. This distance is 1 decimeter. Okay, now, what is the distance between this vertical line through 0 and inclined line through 0 here? What is the distance between them? 0, because they meet at a point. I repeat, the distance between the vertical line through 0 and the inclined line through 0 at this point is 0. What is the distance between the vertical line through 0 and the inclined line through 0 here? What is this distance? That distance is 1 decimeter. That distance is 1 decimeter. The distance between the vertical line through 0 and the inclined line through 0 here is 0 and here it is 1 decimeter. Now, the variation from 0 decimeter to 1 decimeter is divided into 10 steps. 10 steps so that each is increased by 0 0.1 decimeter. The distance between those two lines here is what? 9. It's a ninth division. 0.9 decimeter. This is one full decimeter. This is 0.9 decimeter. 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0. What is 0.9 decimeter? 0.9 decimeter is 9 centimeter. It is written here. 9 centimeter. Agreed? That's the purpose of drawing these inclined lines. I hope you understand it now. Now, you are asked to show some distance. What is it? 2.87 meters. 2.87 meters. This is 1 meter, this is 2 meter. 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5, 2.6, If you go next, it is 2.9. No, you cannot go. Through this inclined line, at 8, 2.8, 2 2.81, 2.82, 2.83, 2.84, 2.85, 2.86, 2.87, 2.87. Mark there a point. This is draw a horizontal line. You can write P, you can write Q, you can write here if you want. PQ equals 2.87 meters. That is one way of marking the dimension. Or you draw a vertical line at Q. You draw a vertical line at P, a vertical line at P, not at any line, it's a vertical line at P. Connect them by a dimensioning line, put arrowheads at both ends and write what? 2.87 meters. At the bottom, you can also print what? Length of LENGTH, length of scale. Length of scale equal 160 mm. You can underline. I hope you understand. This is the simplest question you can expect from diagonal scale. Agreed? Now, what is the advantage of a diagonal scale? You have got a main unit here. You have got its subdivision here. You have got its subdivision here. Now, what is the smallest distance that can be represented by this scale? It is what you write here. Centimeter. Centimeter. One centimeter. 1 centimeter is the smallest dimension that can be shown. You can say least count. It's a least count. Suppose, in this question, nothing is mentioned about the smallest distance to be measured. You are asked, you are given an RF, you are given the maximum length, you are asked to construct a diagonal scale and show some distance. Suppose, the question says, 
the smallest distance that can be shown in this scale is 5 millimeters that is half millimeter i mean half centimeter 5 millimeters or half centimeter what do you do you have to divide this vertical distance into 20 equal parts into 20 equal parts so that i am going to construct it here i am going to construct this rectangle here I have the inclined lines are this is 10, this, this division is 10. Five, zero, 10. Here If you divide this height into 20 equal parts, divide it into 20 equal parts, you will write on the second division you will write 1, on the fourth division you will write 2, on the sixth division you will write 3, on the eighth division you will write 4, on the tenth division you will write 5, then 12, 6, 14, 7, 16, 8, 18, 9, and last 10. What is the percent? What is written here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. or centimeters. But in between you have got one division so that you can show half a centimeter here. This is half centimeter, this is one centimeter. 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5, 5.6, 6.5, 7, 7.5, 8, 8.5, 9, 9.5, 10. So if you are asked to show 2.875, you can show. If you are asked to show 2.875 you can show 2. Point, this is 8 this is the line on the line through 8 this is the line through 8 i am reproducing that line line this line line through 8 2.8 1 2.8 1 2.8 2 2.8 2.8 2.84, 2.85, 2.86, 2.87, this is 2.88, 2.875 is what, this, 2.875, 2.875, you can show, you can show 2.875, you cannot show 2.876, after 2.875 what you can show, you can show 2.88, 2.877, 875, 2.88. 2.875 you can show, then 2.876 you cannot show, 2.877 you cannot show, 2.878 you cannot show, 2.879 you cannot show, you can show 2.88. This is 2.88. 2.88, 2.885, 2 2.889, 2 and so on. Agreed? So that accuracy can be increased by increasing the number of division. You can also do that by increasing, dividing this into 20 and this into 10. Same thing you can achieve by dividing this into 20 and this into 10. But however, you can show three units. One unit there, one unit here and one unit here. Depending upon the division, you can make small changes. Fractions you can also show. That is a diagonal scale. So this diagonal scale has got the RF given, maximum length given and you are asked to show after you ask to draw the scale and show some uh, distance on it, you can easily do. We will do another typical problem in the another typical problem in the next part. Okay.